Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So yeah, before I proceed, I'll just go ahead and close this window stuff. Okay, so I'll just come back over here. So in the previous tutorial, I taught you where our shadow file is. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and show that to you once more. Over here in the file system, you can go in the etc and just type shadow. And this is where our passwords are stored. And this is the one which is converted into the md5 hash file and everything is converted in fact but we will only be in, uh, interested in this one perfect i'll just go ahead and close this so uh, yeah, in this tutorial will be i'll be grabbing the hashes of our own kali linux which is quite secure but still no matter how much secure it, it is it will still be uh, it can still be cracked there's a famous quote for that that's called as security to obscu obscurity and that's very famous so you can just go ahead and search that and you'll need to uh, you'll come to know exactly what i mean over here right now so you can see the shadow file over here with the hashes below next thing we need to know is what type of hash the system is using in linux i can go ahead to the etc and login details so i'll just open this so just to be sure uh, over here before i proceed I'm assuming that we already have access to the computer or whichever we are trying to hack and we are just trying to gain the uh, password for that so that we could go ahead and gain access to it anytime. So uh, that's what I'm assuming in the previous tutorial you can check as to how we can actually go ahead and crack something. So in this tutorial I'll be only be teaching you how we could uh, go ahead and crack something and I will assume that we already have access to the system. So since we have access to the system I can go into the etc and I, will I can go ahead and check the login period defs file and over here you can see which exactly uh, is uh, the method of uh, this specific hash file so if you go and scroll over here down almost half of it you will see exactly which let me just scroll it down okay so as you can see we have the uh, method over here encryption method is SHA512 so now we know which uh, now we have the hash file and we have the SHA512 method we know that which uh, encryption method it is is it using so this is very important as we will need to tell the hash cat this information when we are ready to crack the hashes else we'll have to just go ahead and use each and every other method and it will not work so I'll just go ahead and fire up my terminal perfect okay so now uh, now we come to the part where we would be going ahead and cracking the hashes so now when now we know the basics of hash cat as to what exactly hash is and how exactly it works that is the login details we know which in which it is actually converted which is the encryption method used and we already have the hashes let's put these hashes into separate file i'll just go ahead and name this as hash list so I'll just go ahead and uh, type cp space slash etc slash shadow and I'll just go ahead and uh, name it to as hash period lst and to make sure that they are copied over this directory I'll just type more hash lst and okay so as you can see we have all of the details over here that we had I'll just go ahead and close this but now uh, as you can see it's only displaying half of the part if I go ahead and click enter over here it will show me everything 52, 54, 56 that means it's showing uh, the rest of the things that is included in that so I'll just go ahead and close perfect <laughs> so to prepare this file for cracking we need to remove all of the information in this file except for the hashes so the etc shadow file includes the username, salted hash and everything as you can see it uses the bin, sys and UUCP backup so we need to remove all of these things because we don't need that it also includes the username hash and we, we don't even need that actually so uh, in order for us to do that we need to remove all the information leaving just the hash we can see that the uh, file starts with the username that's root uh, colon and uh, this file so open this file in your favorite text editor it can be leafpad, vim or vi I'll be using gedit and I'll be using hash period lst and I'll hit enter and when I, it opens over here I will be going ahead and deleting everything so now just go to the end of the line and remove the information after the hash that starts with the colon so I'll just uh, go ahead and delete all of these things and this username as well perfect so uh, yeah now we have a file with just the hashes and nothing else 
so uh yeah perfect so in the final step we can now start cracking the hashes so i'll just go ahead and let me just edit over here and yes we also need to go ahead and remove all of these things perfect okay let me check i believe this is something different okay never mind i'll just save this and i'll try to crack if i'm unable to then i'll just go ahead and delete this and this as well never mind let's go down and i'll just save it and perfect i'll close it perfect so now hashcat uh, through hashcat we will go ahead and use a command th through which i can go ahead and crack that so i'll just type hashcat and if you are unable to go ahead and crack something don't be frustrated or disappointed because that happens a lot of times it just takes practice and experience to go ahead and use the perfect characters to go ahead and crack that so this is the specific crack for txt and remove So I'll just go ahead and move it over here so that it will be clear for you to see. T and I'll type slash user share SQL uh, map. Uh, okay, perfect. TXT slash word list. Period TXT. Perfect. Over here, before I proceed, uh, minus m it uh, minus one a uh, m eight hundred. It designates the type of hash that we are cracking. That is S H A five one two. Over here, hyphen a zero designates a dictionary attack. Uh, hyphen o it means uh, the crack txt means it is the output file for the cracked passwords where we would be going ahead and saving everything. Remove tells hashcat to remove the hash after it has been cracked from the hash period lst in our input file of hashes to user share sql map uh, txt word list where it is the absolute path to our word list for our dictionary attack so once the cracking process starts we can hit enter to get an update on the process when hash is completed it will uh, work and it will show you the screen uh, like where hashcat announces that it has removed all it has recovered all the hashes from everything over here of the work so now we only need to open the crack txt file to view our cracked passwords Hashcat may be the world's best password cracking tool right now, so take some time and get to know it. It has many more features than I have uh, just used right now, uh, which has more advanced version. I'll just go ahead and select enter, and yes, just go ahead and hit yes over here. Uh, okay, let's just follow directory. Okay, I should have typed hash period lst. Okay. Now press enter for the status screen and it will start going ahead and try to decode that thing. Hashcat can crack many passwords many times faster than your CPU can. Uh, so if you have your GPU installed that's graphic processing unit installed and up and running then it will take much easier time for you to go ahead and install. So as you can see the progress is 0.78%. You can just uh, uh, go ahead and type on hitting enter. So I have a, in fact, a decent password over here. I won't even say decent. So it should be probably be cracked within few seconds or minutes, not seconds exactly. Let's see what it is exactly. Nine, 0.9%. It's 1.5% is over. Uh, 415 were planes and 415 were words, which have been checked till now. Let's wait till this gets completed. The two percent right now. I assume this will take a bit of time. So it contains a total of, uh, I believe, uh, twelve lakh uh, passwords. I believe, if I'm not wrong, it contains twelve lakh, uh, twelve lakh words inside that word list and. The progress is this much so it's still continuing so by the time it is over let's go ahead and check our txt file and what all passwords are there inside that so it's in user share sql map txt and word list so i'll just go ahead and open this let me see so my it's still continuing these many words have been tried and these are the total words so uh, my probably would uh, password would be here let me check i won't say which password it is exactly let me check if my password is already there uh, 
okay and let this continue so and just to make a clear you out this is not the word list this is uh, that i have been trying to crack this is the uh, places where i have i will get uh, the exact password so let me check a b my password is abcd at the rate one two three so let me check if it is cracked okay it will take much more time okay as you can see i have it over here perfect it's six percent bcd so let's check estimated time is 50 minutes that's way too long and i cannot actually wait to see that so i'll just go ahead and check if i have my password if it is there that means i will be able to crack this password let's see search string not found if it has a b c d So we have BCDA that means uh, at the uh, a, uh, one two three. So I should be able to crack this. So not a big deal for that. So if and just make sure that it may not necessarily crack the whole password. Let's say for example my password is ABCD at the one two three. It may only crack ABCD and it will show something like letter or some three four words in between and then one two three. The reason being that it was not able to detect what it was or it was not able to uh, let's say decode that was. It won't be very much hard to go ahead and ask for decode that if it's just like three to four letter word because yeah it won't be easy because we have already cracked most of the time so you can just go ahead and try your luck uh, replacing that text with something like one or two or ABC any random stuff and you will be able to crack that so that is it for this tutorial i won't be able to wait till the password has been cracked because it will take approximately an hour for us to crack as you can see the time is counting down and it was like extremely prob it was probably one hour when it started yep so that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be continuing with the uh, cr password cracking method but I would be going out something with the theory and not exactly the practical stuff. So that's it for this tutorial. Have fun guys.